Hello, this is Keith at Don Redwood Groves and we're working on the water tower today. So we're going to be doing a IBC and I wanted to do a little rainwater harvesting off of this thing too. I have all these uh, extra wood left over from the building of the house and if I don't start figuring out something to use I'm going to just go to rot or burn. So we put on this roof now. <laughs> Um, it's way overkill. I got a lot of two by eights, so I put two by eights, and it's a six foot by six foot uh, roof with a uh, uh, 410, 410 pitch. Uh, so I put in some supports across, and uh, we've got that in. I tied it into the top of the overhead of the uh, the IBC. So I put some two by four, so it's sitting on that. It's wrapped all the way around and screwed in. And uh, what I've got is some steel roof um, that I'm putting on. This is some leftover again. So we're just starting to put this on. I wasn't going to do a video, but I think it's turning out better than I thought it was going to be. So I'm fairly happy with it. We're going to put this on again. It's a six foot by six foot. Um, so one inch of rain is going to give us what? About 25, 25 gallons. We get on average three inches of rain a month here, so 75 gallons. So really I'm gonna get maybe two watering of the orchards from the rain, but got the material and uh, I wanted to try it out. So this is what it's looking like. And then when it's all said and done here, we'll, uh, we'll trim out the IBC and then we'll put it on top of the tower. Okay, well I'm gonna have to apologize. Um, the video didn't take, or it didn't, cord when I was doing the rest of the roof but I did get the rest of the roof on um, got it on both sides put some end caps on and now I'm getting ready to do some uh, board and batten I got some thin cutoffs from the saw mill I'm just going to um, nail them up I have a 2 by 8 C channel uh, going around the three sides I'm going to get that up so that I can work on this corner over here um, I want to keep the opening course for the pipe on cut open so I'm gonna um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up and go over and go down through but I want to get this thing all up and get it just kind of see what it looks like and get a feel for it and uh, we'll see how that goes stay tuned okay so what we've decided to do I put some two by eights and I've gone through and I've screwed them into the bottom brace here in the bottom where it doesn't come back through the bottom or through the back of the steel but anyways it's even down on the low so it'll never catch any of the plastic but two by four across here so that I can run boards across and I can nail it into there and uh, so the two by eights are screwed into the bottom a couple spots here so now I'm uh, I'm putting the the one by slats on try to get that all on and then I can try doing the the uh, the bat and close it all up okay so we put up most of the boards I've got around uh, through the three sides going through um, I'm not I think I think it told but uh, I'm not gonna fill this I was going to try to close this all in but there's no way I can get this um, so it'll be bug resistant or get anything so I might as well keep it open so that if I get anything in here that I don't want in here that'll be easy enough for me to get out um, I do have the front half started I'm gonna cut some more boards and uh, we'll notch that out so that uh, I have that opening for the inlet the water come out and then uh, I'll cut some more to put the batten up all right time to put the batten on so what I've done is I've cut some uh, some leftover scrap pieces again and I cut them down and I'm clamping them up at the top. Uh, I don't have long enough nails. You should put a nail in between to allow these boards to expand and contract. Uh, but what I'm doing is, because I got a bunch of screws, is I'm screwing in and catching just one of the boards. Uh, I'm not really happy with the nails that I've got holding these in. I, think they'll be okay but I know if I put a screw in I at least got one screw on the top and the bottom on each board and then it allows the other board to float so um, I still have the boards to be able to float as they are drying up so they're not going to shouldn't crack and uh, I still should have a nice secured board and batten onto my system okay so 
hindsight being 2020, I probably should have notched uh, this board out and brought this board all the way up to the edge here, but I didn't. So um, to make this a little easier, I scabbed on some pieces, just tack nailed them in, and then I can take the, uh, the corner pieces and bring them up and screw them on and cover everything up. So if you're gonna copy my uh, concept here, uh, I would recommend you know a little hindsight here notch these pieces up here and then bring this board over and then get your spacing set up again but then you won't have this big gap over here in the corner that you're gonna try to cover alrighty so we got all the board and batten on now all the way around the unit so the IBC is completely covered doesn't look like uh, plastic and steel. It now looks uh, wood, kind of more uh, a traditional tower type design. Um, I'm going to let this wood dry out a little bit and then I'll stain it. But that's pretty much going to cover it for part two of the water tower. Uh, part three, I'll get the uh, rain gutters on and do the uh, rainwater harvesting into the IBC. And then we'll get this unit up on the tower and start collecting water, getting ready to water the orchard. Uh, so this is Keith, Don Redwood Grows. If you like, please give me a thumb up and uh, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Give me any comments, I'd greatly appreciate it.